Hi crafters, it's Chloe from Chloe's Creative Cards and today I'm going to show you how to create this beautiful card using our brand new wedding collection, Stamps and Dies. This is a beautiful card that you're going to be able to send as a keepsake for a lovely wedding day card. Um, if you've got any questions about anything, drop them in the comments below and as always, I have listed all of the materials and linked them all in the description below. So please do have a little look in there and you'll be able to click through and shop all of the products online at www.chloescreativecards.co.uk. So we're going to dive on in and get started and I'm going to show you how to create this beautiful bride and groom first. So this is using our brand new bride and groom stamp and die set, which I've got here. And what we're going to do is we're going to stamp and emboss this. So we're going to emboss it in clear. So it's this one here. And we're going to use a Versafine Morning Mist ink pad. This is like a lovely grey colour. It's just that little bit softer than using a black ink pad I tend to find as well. Um, so this works really nicely with these wedding stamps. So what we're going to do is just ink up the image like so, lots of light tapping all over, make sure you've got plenty of ink on there and of course as this is a Versafine ink pad, what that means is it's going to pick up all of the detail on the stamp as well. I've then got a piece of plain white card and we're just going to place that image down and press. So you want firm even pressure all over the image like so. Okay, then we're going to lift that off and you can see how we've got that lovely bride and groom image there. We're then going to sprinkle our clear embossing powder over. Now, as we're using Versafine, it is, it's not necessarily designed for embossing, but you can do it if you're quick. So you need to get your powder on there quite quickly. We're then going to take our heat gun and we're going to heat up the image. So we're just going to hold that heat gun still and then as soon as we see that embossing powder start to melt and change, we're just going to move the heat gun over the image like so. There we go. So we've got that image nicely heated up now. Now this die, does, it does also come with a die, this particular stamp set. So we're going to line this up over the top and we're going to die cut out the image. So get that nice and lined up there and I'm going to grab some low tack tape. So this is the Scotch low tack that I tend to use. And that's the one that I, I do tend to use a lot. I do like this tape. So I'm going to take a couple of pieces and we're going to pop this down, just line it up over the image and tape it down into place like so. Okay, we're then going to take our Gemini plate. So because we're just cutting an outline die, I'm going to use my base plate, my plastic shim and my cutting plate on the top. I'm just going to send that through my die cutting machine. We'll grab that at the other side. Then I'm going to just gently push this through, and you'll see we've got that lovely die cut image there. Okay, we're then going to start to colour in kind of the skin and the faces and things. So I'm going to start off by putting a base layer over of um, eggshell. This is a Copic marker that I'm using. So I'm just going to start by colouring the entire face with that colour. Okay, I'm going to do that on both of them. Like so, and down the arms as well. Okay. And then we're going to take the next colour, which is Cotton Pearl. I'm going to just colour a little bit around the edges just to add a little bit of shading onto here, like so. 
so and we're going to take a little bit of the darker color as well and just add a little hint of that just around the edge and this is when you start to see the images come to life okay and then we're going to go back over with that lovely eggshell just to blend the colors together like so okay so i'm going to take that cotton pearl again i'm just going to add a little bit more down my neck into my shoulders there you can see how fab that then looks so the colors we've used are barley beige cotton pearl and eggshell and those are the three colors that we've used to color them in they're not difficult to color in it's a really nice easy image so what we're then going to do is add a little bit of glitter and some jewels onto the groom as well so i'm going to use our self decent sparkle for this part and i'm also going to use some of our dries clear pva glue so i'm going to take my little self adhesive sparkles and i'm just going to take some of these smaller ones and just work down sticking these onto the little buttons on his shirt like so okay so you can see how fab that then looks and then we're going to take some of our gorgeous glitter in diamante sparkle okay this is such a lovely color for wedding cards a really nice bright shiny silver just going to check that my glue is flowing because it feels a little bit, a little bit blocked. Just give me two seconds. I'll just pop that pin back in, see if we can, see if we can get it going. Sometimes this can happen and what you can do is just soak your metal tip in some boiling water. Just basically need the glue pushing through. Especially if you glue stood for a little while, which mine has. You just grab a different bottle when you're a little bit blocked up. I think really Becca's stolen my bottle <laughs> over this side. <laughs> there we go. Right, so bit of PVA glue. And we're just going to infill in the dress. So I'm going to start at the top here. And I'm kind of just trying to avoid some of the little lines that are on here as well. So you can just see how I'm just working down and filling this in. And of course, you can get creative as you like with this one. You can really go to town kind of. Adding the different colours onto here. And all such like. So literally, you're just going to flood the area with your dries clear glue. So you're just going to work your way around, infilling in with the adhesive. There we go, and then we're going to take our glitter and just sprinkle that over the top, like so. And you can see how awesome that then starts to look. So, just going to work around infilling in with our PVA glue. There we go. 
little bit of glue on there. Let's just take a little bit of time just to get this all nice and filled in neatly. So like I say, the embossed line kind of gives you a little ridge to work up towards, which is lovely. So there we go. little section at a time and just infill that So it's always nice and relaxing, I find doing this as well. Kind of going to a little trance. And all we're doing is just gently squeezing that bottle and kind of scratching, scratching the tip onto the card. Like so, and then we'll cover this one. we go and just infill that little section on the dress and that is then that one all nicely blinged up she has got a little flower in her hair as well so you can go in and just add a little bit of that glitter under there too just to bling that up and maybe add a couple a little let's just add a little self adhesive sparkle onto there as well Oh, you can see how pretty that then looks. So I'm going to pop that over to one side now to leave that to dry. And while that's drying, we'll start and build up the base layers of our card. So to do that, we have got an 8x8 card blank, which I've got here. Okay. And then we've got a piece of silver mirror card, which I'm going to stick down flat to start with. So to stick that, I'm going to be using a little bit of Kalal all-purpose glue. So I do love this glue. I use it an awful lot for doing my mats and layers. So just a little bit of glue on the back. And then we're going to stick that down flat. Like so. I like using a glue so it gives you that little bit of time to wiggle it to get it in the right place. Okay, we've then taken a piece of our beautiful crystal white pearl card and a piece, this is one of the patterned papers from our patterned paper card. I'm going to stick these two together. So a little bit of glue on the back. So, and then we're going to stick that down flat. Okay. Then what we're going to do is we're going to take our it's crystallina, it's crystal crush glitter that I like. So we're going to take a little bit of crystal crush glitter, which is gorgeous. It's like the most beautiful sparkly white with a little bit of silver in. And I'm going to take my chisel tip glue pen. Now this is a brand new chisel tip glue pen because they are back in stock on the website. So what you need to do when you first get these is you do need to prime it. So to do that you're just going to pump it down on the card and then as soon as you see the glue start to come through that's how you know it's done. So we're going to just drag that along the edge of the card and cover that with our crystal crush glitter like so. And that then makes this into like a lovely little glittery border. 
just along the edge of your project. Okay, like so. So we're going to flip that over and we're going to pop some foam pads onto the back of there. Now, of course, I'm using our fabulous foam pads on a roll, which are kind of legendary on here. So I use these all the time. They are absolutely fabulous. They are so easy to peel the backs off. They are absolutely brilliant. So you can see how the backs literally just whip off these like so. Okay, and then we're going to stick this down onto our base card. Now I'm just going to stand up while I do this because I always find that's a little bit easier for just trying to get that stuck down nice and straight. There we go. Okay, and then this is a real little piece of luxury I'm adding here. I have got a piece of our gorgeous foiled wedding vellum and it is just stunning you've got a little silver heart foiled onto this beautiful white vellum but you can see when you stick this down onto your cards you're going to get a little bit of the patterned paper shining through so what i'm going to do before i stick that down is i'm going to just talk you through what i've done here so we do some fabulous nesting dies that come in eight by eight sets where you get like a set of eight by eight ovals or um rectangles or squares etc etc so what i've done is taken one of our oval dies and i've actually kept this as it was a scrap from another project so i've obviously die cut my oval out to use on another card but i thought this frame is lovely for framing the bride and groom so what we are going to do is just edge around this piece with a little bit of glitter and a little bit of um, crystal crush glitter again so we're going to take the crystal crush and we're just going to again drag along each side dunk that into the glitter like so You can see how fab that then looks and then we're going to flip that over and we're going to pop some foam pads just onto the back so we'll pop the foam pads onto here i'm going to trim some foam pads down as well like so I'm popping these foam pads and I'm popping a few more on because you want the center piece to be kind of nice and supported. I would probably even go and add a little foam pad just into this piece here as well. A bit there, a little bit there. Okay, and then we're going to take the backs off these. And just chuck these bits in the bin like so and I'm going to grab in our piece of vellum and what I'm going to do is stick this piece directly on top so you've got your little hearts in the background but you've got that little border going around the edge then I'm going to flip that over and I'm just going to pop a little bit of that all-purpose glue just around the edges like so and then I'm going to stick this down onto my base card like so okay so then you can see how that starts to come together and that's kind of the basis of your card so I've got my bride and groom that we did earlier but I have got one that's completely dry so we'll bring that one in 
going to just add a couple of little sequins into her hair for little sparkles because I think that makes a difference. Oops, she says. There we go. So we'll pop one there, one there. Maybe it's just one there. Some pretty. Okay. We're going to flip that over and we're going to pop a double layer of foam pads on the back of these. So we're going to just layer this up. So then by doing the double layer, it'll mean this will stand proud of the oval frame. Okay, so we're going to position that down just in about the centre, about there. Okay, so you can see how it's starting to come together, but we need to kind of add in a little bit more embellishment with these beautiful flowers. So what we've done is we have taken... The, this is the Christmas Magnolia flower, actually. And this flower, everyone has been loving at the moment. I think because it's such a lovely kind of design that really is useful for all year round. So let me just get my little bits and pieces together because I've done this so it was already all dry for me. There's my extra little acetate one. So what I've done is I've stamped an embossed four of this is the medium or the small size one i think i think it might be medium I've stamped an embossed four onto crystal white pearl paper and two onto heat resistant acetate and then i've just gone in with my dry clear pva glue and added some little dots just to the centers of the petals okay so you can see how pretty that looks and then i've covered that with crystal crush and then on my acetate layers i've cut them out put little dots of pva and covered it with um Diamante sparkle glitter. So that's the same as what we used on the dress. And then I've done two large, exactly the same with the dots of Crystal Crush, one on heat resistant acetate with the little dots of Diamante sparkle. And then we're just going to layer these together. So before we layer them, I'm just going to pinch down the middle of each of the petals, like so, just to add that little bit of depth and dimension to them. Okay, and then I'm going to take my pin flare glue gel and we're going to start to stick these together. So I like to give them a little, little squish down as well. I'm going to pop that one onto there, like so. And then we're going to take our heat resistant acetate layer and we're going to pull the petals up towards me, like so. So we're literally putting a little crease just in the bottom. I'm going to pop a blob of glue on the back. I'm going to twist and offset that and stick that down onto our base layer. Okay. We then got to grab in a very random bling box. This is Frosty Christmas, which I'm sure you weren't expecting for a wedding card. And I'm going to grab out some of these larger AB pearls, which are gorgeous, by the way, the AB pearls. They are so, so pretty. And um, we're going to take our... Dry clear PVA, little blob in the middle, and we're going to add one of those pearls just into. Oh, we're not actually. Sorry, I've missed out an important part. Getting carried away with myself. We're going to, of course, add our little stamen. So the stamen die comes in with your um, Christmas magnolia flower. So I've die cut these out of silver mirror card pop some little dots of glue on and covered them with the diamante sparkle glitter. Okay. I feel like I'm missing a little dim as well. Okay, so what we're going to do is just pull these up towards the top like so. Then we're going to add a little blob of pin flare just on the back and stick that down in the middle. Then we're going to put a little blob of PVA glue just in the center and we're going to drop a little pearl in like so and then you can see how gorgeous those flowers look so that's the first one of that size we're going to do the same with this one so a little blob on the back layer it up take heat resistant acetate pull those petals towards you
like so. A little blob of pin flare on the back. Stick that down. Again, we're going to roll into the center. Put a lot of glue on the back. Little pearl in the middle there. These little pearls are gorgeous as well because you get so many different colours shining off them. Little blob of pin flare on the back. And there we go. So that little flower created. Then we're going to do the same with the large ones. So you're just going to pinch down the middle of the petals like so. And it'll squish down. Down. Then I'm going to take the heat resistant acetate one. I'm going to pull those petals up towards me, like so. And I've stamped and embossed these. The flowers have all been stamped and embossed with Wow Metallic Silver Super Fine as well. Don't know that I mentioned that before. There we go. So I'm going to pop that down in the centre, and then I'm going to take one of our little stamen dies. Again, this is the same. So I've die cut it out of mirror card. And I've glittered up the edges using that diamante sparkle glitter. Pop my pearl in the centre. Just like to pull the little pieces up a little bit. Like so, little blob of glue gel on the back. And then stick that down onto our base card like so. See how gorgeous that then looks. So what we're going to do next is we're going to start and arrange these flowers onto our card. So we're going to take the two smaller ones and pop these up in the top corner like this and the larger one and pop it in the bottom corner and you can see this starts to come together now. So again I'm going to use pin flare just to stick these pieces down. Normally like to give things a little bit of time to dry before sticking them but with this being kind of like a a video to show you all how to do things if we've not quite got the time to let things dry. So pop that one there and that one down there. Okay and then you can see how gorgeous that then looks. Then we're going to take our leaves and we've got four sets of these fabulous leaves. Again I've done these ahead of time so they will be dry. So what we've done is taken, this is one of the leaf designs from the Everyday Foliage Stamp and Die Set. I've stamped and embossed that onto heat resistant acetate in Wow Opaque Bright White Super Fine Embossing Powder. Then I've flipped it over so you're working on the totally smooth side. You're then going to go and infill your leaves, just scribble over the top and cover it with your Diamante Spark Glitter. Then when you flip that back over, this is the effect that you're going to get. When the glue dries, it dries clear and allows the glitter to shine through. So we're going to take these leaves and start to tuck these in behind the flowers. Like so. To do that, I'm just popping a blob of glue gel on the back and that also gives me a little bit of time to kind of manoeuvre and get things where I want them to. Okay, then I've taken some little pieces of, um, this is the little stamp from the Everyday Foliage set and I've stamped and embossed those onto heat resistant acetate using sparkling snow wow powder and then cut them out and I've just put little dots of glue on and covered it with Crystal Crush. And these make the most beautiful little accents behind the flowers. So I'm going to tuck one in the top corner up here. Like so. One in the bottom corner down here. Like I say, I do normally like to give things a little bit of time to dry. Because it does make a difference when you're trying to kind of maneuver things and pop them in like so okay so you can see how fabulous that then looks 
Now, to finish the bride and groom off on the bride and groom stamp set, you do actually get a little bouquet, and that little bouquet fits perfectly in our just in our arm. So you can decide where you want to pop this. So I've got one that I've already stamped out and it's all dry. So you can either pop it in our arms here or you can pop it to the side. I'm going to pop mine to the side. So again, a little bit of glue gel just on the back. To do that, I've just stamped and embossed that in the same colour as the bride and groom. So in that VersaFine ink pad coloured the leaves in green and just added a little bit of crystal crushed glitter onto there and then we're going to take a lovely little verse stamp so this is one of the wedding verses and I'm going to take a piece of our beautiful crystal white pearl card smaller piece than that we can use a little a little scrap piece for this I feel okay I'm going to take my anti-static bag and I'm going to take my clear embossing ink pad I'm going to give it a good dust over like so Got my stamp on my block here. I'm going to ink it up. So this is from the new Wedding Verse stamp set. We're going to place that down and press. So you want firm even pressure all over the stamp. We're going to lift that off and then we're going to take our Wow Metallic Silver Super Fine Embossing Powder. Now when you're doing anything like this with this kind of text and things, I do prefer one of the super fine powders. You can use the embossing glitters, but when the text is a little bit smaller, like this one is, it picks up more detail with your super fine. a lovely verse that reads the two of you shine with the love you share for each other may that light get ever brighter as the years go by which is really lovely so we've taken that one and i've got a little piece of mirror card where i've trimmed it down and we're just going to mat them together and i've also taken the little happily ever after of the bride and groom stamp and die set and we're just going to mat that up as well so again, I'm just going to take some foam pads, just pop these on the back, like so, and just layer this together. I'm just going to move my piece of scrap paper out the way. It's going to stick down onto here, couple of foam pads on the back, and that's going to stick down onto the top here. Okay, and then we're going to take the foam pad, so we're going to cut it in half. Just stick that one down here. Okay, and then what we're going to do is take some of those self-adhesive sparkles and this time I'm going to use the larger ones and just dot a couple just in the background. Like so. There we go. And that would then be your finished card. So as always, all of the materials that I've been using are linked in the description below. I really hope that you enjoy recreating this fabulous card at home. If you haven't done so already, please do subscribe to our YouTube channel. We've got loads of inspiration coming to this channel to share with you all using our fabulous products. We can also shop all of our products online at www.chloe'screativecards.co.uk. There are so many goodies on there and lots of inspirational projects on the blog too. I hope to see you all again soon. Thank you so much for joining me. Bye.